Hello all, today I am studying a new interesting topic which is Terraform Cloud. This will be a fun way to deploy our cloud resources using infrastructure as code via the Terraform Cloud. We have already learned many things on Terraform technology. If not, please check the description section. I will give the link of our Terraform playlist. Now coming to Terraform Cloud, how is it cool or what are the benefits? Now think of a scenario, you do have your GitHub or any other version control for that matter and it is hosting your infrastructure as code now you want to do something automatically deployment of your code on any cloud provider whenever your code is merged to the main branch or whatever your release branch is now for example you are a developer you have written your infrastructure as code tool and pushed it in your development branch and you created a peer in github to your master branch or whatever your release branch is. Now whenever the release branch is having a new PR, Terraform Cloud can go and check and give you an intermediate plan. And once you are satisfied with your plan, you can merge the PR and automatically Terraform Cloud will take the code and execute plan and apply for you. In the apply part, Terraform Cloud will go to your cloud provider whatever you have written in your code and then can spin up or do the modifications on whatever resources you have written it's very simple you create a pr you get an intermediate plan which will help you to decide whether to merge or not now you are satisfied with your plan you merge your pr request and automatically that will go to terraform cloud and all the codes will be deployed on your cloud provider and your resources will be up and running. Now coming to the benefits, you do not have to manage your state file by yourself. Terraform Cloud will manage for you. Otherwise, you know, if you are using any remote backend or even local, local is very risky as you know. If you are following through our earlier episodes, now you have to create maybe a bucket, then store your state file there, maintain your Terraform infrastructure, that means the executable installer or whatever you are installing. You have to manage everything. But in Terraform Cloud, you just pass on your code and if you have any specific conditions of Terraform versions or anything like that, it will take care automatically. Now let's jump into our exercises directly. Now to start with, all you need is a GitHub account first. So let us create one GitHub account now. And you can skip this part if you have already a GitHub account. Enter your email address, click on continue, any password which should be a complex one, click on continue enter a username any unique username worldwide or maybe only thus learning will be fine i guess yes it's available click on continue so if you want to receive your product emails or something like that please solve the puzzle whatever it is create account i should receive code in my email already here 027 something 027 i will be only the person who will be using this continue so you can skip all of those things click on continue i'll be going with the free plan now so let me create one repository first so anything maybe terraform cloud and you can choose public or private let me create it privately or maybe publicly yeah it matters as per the security process but yeah it's fine for me so what i'll do is i'll just copy this link clone it to my local and before that, let me open my command prompt in my favorite directory where I want to clone this. Git clone, paste this one. And I have to create a personal access token for this. So on the top right corner, click on your account, go to settings, come down at the left side to developer settings. And you can click on tokens, classic, generate a new token. I'll be going with the classic one, generate new classic token any token so tf cloud any name expiry date you can choose 30 days is fine and i'm choosing repo full access i'll be doing the pool push and everything so click on generate token copy this value this is very important otherwise you may not get it back paste it in notepad yeah now let me clone it so as my repo was public it didn't need any authentication and let me open my visual studio and go into that directory now it is cloned already open folder this was terraform cloud select folder 
we will look into the code little bit later now let's get started with terraform cloud to start with terraform cloud type in app.terraform.io in your browser and you will get something like this and you have to create a free account from the below link so click on create your free account any username which you need so maybe that's learning email id same email id i'm going to use any password you agree to everything now click on create account so let me type in the password so let me confirm my email id click on the link and you are good to go so here you will get couple of options like you can use the cli migrate your local state if you had earlier or you can create your own organization start with blank so we'll go with the third one we will be creating one organization click on this one last one organization name and let me check i already tested with this das learning and possibly it's already taken so let me go with das learning new organization name your email address is already taken click on create organization now your organization is created now here you will get many options we will look into this as we move on forward but today we are going with the simple basic step we will be linking our newly created github repository now so you'll see in the project and workspace we have not created anything so here also you have three options one is version control most used the cli driven you need to fire up some commands and api driven for expert users we will look into api later onwards in new episodes but yeah in this episode we will be going with version control click on this one once you click on version control you will get multiple options as your devops github bitbucket so i'll go with github and here also you have custom enterprise and other options i'll be going with github.com you'll see one pop up with authorized terraform cloud click on authorize oh it's failed to install just you have to do one thing click on this pop up always again click on github.com and this time it should work authorize so you will see it will show you a prompt it will be installed on all repositories if you want or maybe you can select your repository whatever you want so i'll be going with the second option i'll be choosing my newly created repository which is terraform cloud click on install so basically it will be installing one app in your github account i'll be showing you so click on this terraform cloud whatever workspace name you want to be created now so let me give it a try with gcp terraform or tf something like that project default project is fine i could have already created another project but yeah that's fine any description if you want you can click on this advanced options any working directory blank means it will be root so i'm not going into any directory so i'll be putting all my terraform codes in the root directory you'll see auto apply or manual apply that means once your pr is merged so someone has to come and click on apply just for one human verification otherwise it can go in auto mode also let's keep manual for now and always trigger runs and you can also go with any new tag published or if you do any changes on any specific path then it can take let me go with the default one always trigger runs and this one is very interesting which i was talking in the picture automatic speculative plans so on every pull request on your repository it will give you a plan and other settings i'm not bothered about that one now that can be changed later onwards click on create workspace now it has configured successfully so no variable found continue to workspace overview so i can create couple of variables now which will be required as there is no variable let me click on configure variables so you can come to these options again once you are in projects and workspaces click on this workspace and you'll see variables at the left side also you can click on this and here you will get one button add variable click on this one any name of that variable maybe this is test and test value any text value you can click it as sensitive which will be a sensitive value that means value will be hidden and any description for that variable if you want click on add variable and i need one very important variable now i will be deploying a simple resource in gcp so i need to add the gcp key here so i have already created my service account and and if you do not know what it is i will be pasting another video link where i have explained how to get started with google cloud and terraform you can check this out i have already created a service account downloaded the key given all the permissions which it need now 
I need the value. I have already uploaded that value to my cloud shell. So here is my file. So it has some values. I need to fire up one command to remove all the new line characters from this file and get the value. So I can do one thing. Last command will be this one. I'll be giving this command in the description. Paste this. And I need to copy this value from this curly braces to curly braces. Let me put it in a notepad. So basically why it is needed. I need to authenticate my Terraform cloud to use my cloud resources. I need to have some authentication mechanism. So that is why I can click on add variable from Terraform cloud again. And this time I need to have some specific value. So the key name would be Google credentials and the value is this entire text which I have extracted from my cloud cell after removing all the new line characters and come to Terraform cloud again paste it click on this sensitive I do not want to show this value to everyone whoever having access to variable sections in my Terraform workspace and click on add variable and you will see this is right only nobody can see it now but yeah whenever you are running any job you can read this value from the job. Now I have already opened my git. Basically I'll be creating one GCS bucket in Google and I'll push this code to GitHub and I'll show everything. Oh, I do not want to push it to main branch. Let me create a new branch now. So if I put git branch, you'll see only one branch is present now. Create a new branch by typing git checkout hyphen B then any branch name. So I'm giving develop git branch. It will show I am on develop branch now which is in green color and star mark close this and you can directly do it from github console as well but yeah this will be a better approach click on this new file icon over here gcs.tf this is my file name any code you want to run so i'm just giving a description at the beginning so i'll be taking one older episode code which was already published in my public repository so let me go here paste it so simply i'll be creating one bucket in my project i need to give my gcp project id where do i get it so whichever project i need i can get the value from here paste it here this zone and region is completely optional you can skip this but yeah let it be there this resource will basically create the bucket if you want to check my earlier terraform playlist you can go ahead and check it and i can change this bucket name so i'm giving something dash landing tf cloud terraform cloud and where i want to deploy click on save now i am going into the terminal let me check the git status if i can type it right git status git add dot git commit any message terraform cloud i need to push it to github git push origin then my branch name so develop is my branch i'll be going with the traditional username and token method this is my username now i need that token which I did generate after creating the github account paste that one hit enter now you'll see it has pushed successfully let me go and check on our github repository what has happened click on refresh you'll see something a new push and let me go to terraform cloud and if I go to runs you'll see nothing is here and my variable should be available yeah. now we are good to go now what I'll do I'll go to github account pull requests I can click on this one compare and pull request and sometimes this might not be detected by github after the push you can click on new pull request your source branch will be at right side which is develop it will be merging to main branch and what are the file changes you will see over here so now if I click on create pull request name to your pull request any description if you want and click on create pull request you will see automatically terraform cloud is picking my plan so you'll see all check has passed if you click on so all checks click on this details button open it in a new tab or click on here it has created a plan only ignore this warnings now it is going to create one bucket whatever we have defined in our code so this is our bucket name in our terraform code if i click on runs plan and finished once you merge this request what happens click on this merge pull request because you are satisfied with your checks obviously you can put some branching strategies who can approve your pull request and other things but i'm not going into github part click on this merge pull request confirm merge so once you have merged it you'll see another new run is showing up here click on this the new one now plan is running same plan will be shown over here 
while configuring this one as we have taken manual apply part so i have to click on confirm and apply put any comment confirm plan in few seconds it will start applying on your cloud it has started and let me quickly go to buckets now from my cloud window so click on buckets and let me check apply has finished and indeed that bucket is present now created just i'll say one minute before so this is how the flow is first i have pushed my code then i have created a pr i got one intermediate plan once i am satisfied with the plan i have merged the pr again it has run a plan and i had to manually apply as as i have taken manual apply approach while configuring that one and terraform cloud then went into google cloud and deployed it simple and let us do some changes now on our resources let me come to my code copy this one let me create another bucket for now i have to change this resource name so cloud to something like that save this file i am on develop branch so if i put git status so i modified this file git add dot let me clear my screen git commit adding a new bucket now let me push that this is my username the token paste it hit enter and let me go to so earlier one was merged click on pull request button over again so you see this time it has not detected any changes i can click on this one new pull request right side would be develop and it has detected a new resource the line of codes which we have added adding a new bucket automatically taken click on pull request doing the plan this time it will be running plan only and once you merge it so earlier one was applied merged successfully and this one ignore the warnings and this will be my new bucket all checks have passed now click on merge pull request you can have approval and other things but yeah once you merge it terraform cloud will take the merge you'll see merge number three i can go into this planning is running so it will create a new bucket for me once you verify it you can confirm or disc discard whatever you like confirm anything you can write okay now apply will happen let me after refreshing i have got the new bucket so this is very interesting right you do not have to set up your terraform infrastructure by yourself you just write your code and that's all and let me do one thing if i go to variable section of my terraform workspace if i delete this google credentials what will happen click on delete yes delete now let me push some changes to my code so for example i want to destroy everything now git add dot git commit delete all buckets let me push it github token my git account earlier one was merged click on pull request again new pull request from develop to main and basically i have commented out entire code that means it will destroy click on so now i can click on create pull request and very quickly the terraform plan and i can go into terraform cloud click on runs the latest pull request has error out basically it could not find the credential i have deleted the variable correct and if i even merge it now the apply will also get failed because you do not have the credential let me bring back the credentials add variable google credentials i need the value this one this is my value always put it in sensitive mode any secret certificate passwords anything should be in sensitive mode click on add variable so as it was added out so i can click on retry run again this time it has taken perfectly so basically it is giving in red color as it is a destroy part and destroy should be always taken in caution and if i come back to runs again you'll see it will come in green so basically it was triggered via the ui earlier one was from github pull request now if i merge this pull request confirm merge and hopefully a new run will be taken so new run going on again the same destroy warnings will be there once you are good with the plan you can click on confirm and apply any message confirm plan still my bucket is here let's wait for the finish now both have been deleted and it's gone from cloud as well and before closing up this episode let me show you you will get all the state files for each run from the left side states button and if i click on earlier state not this one because now i have deleted it you'll see the state everything will be there and the latest state will be clean basically only the terraform related metadata 
nothing related to Claudia. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. We will be bringing some interesting topic on Terraform Cloud.